Next, we want to find a 95% confidence interval for mu d. Mu d is what? Mu y minus mu x. Okay? And to find a 95% confidence interval for mu d, let's look at here. The formula is estimate plus or minus h. h is what? Margin of error. MOE means margin of error. Okay? So the observability of an estimator, we call it estimate. And I use lowercase d bar. And we find from early com computation on the first page, for this sample, d bar is 1.5, right? And then plus or minus z star. Z star is a critical z value. Times square root of variance of our estimator. We use d bar to estimate mu d. So the capital d bar is our estimator. But we know variance d bar is just sigma d squared divided by square root n. But after you take square root, it becomes sigma d over square root n, okay? Now, since we don't know sigma d, we replace by sample standard deviation as d. Then the resulting statistic is no longer z, it becomes t, right? Remember, when we're going to get t distribution instead of standard normal distribution, we don't know population standard deviation. We estimate it by sample standard deviation. So change from sigma d to sd. Change from standard normal to what? Student t. Am I correct? Now from the early calculation, we know d bar is 1.5. And what's, what's sd? sd we also calculate is what? 5.612. And n is what? Sample size is 6. The only job left undone is we need to use t table to find t star. And after we use t-table, we find t-star is 2.571. And it's 2.571 because this is 95% confidence level, and the degree of freedom is sample size minus 1, that is 5, okay? Now, I'm gonna, next, I'm going to show you how can we use t-table to find the critical t-value, okay?